Whether you're a bio mom or a stepmom or both, Mother's Day can be complicated and tough, right? We know that firsthand. What should be a lovely day celebrating the women that have devoted themselves to raising kids, well, it often becomes a day of unmet expectations and painful emotions. Mm -hmm. It can be a real bummer. But we think you deserve better, much better, don't we, honey? Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Blended Family Coaching Show, where you'll discover how to move your step family from just surviving to truly thriving. Grab your headphones and listen in as we share practical, real-life strategies for building healthy bonds. Understanding the kids' perspective. Romance and partnership. Parenting with great teamwork. And yes, even co-parenting with a difficult ex. We're Mike and Kim Anderson, and we believe with the right tools, every step couple can overcome the common challenges of step family life. Join us for authentic and sometimes comical conversations to discover how you can lead your family with confidence and create the future you really want. Hey, everyone. Welcome. and Thank you for joining us for another episode. We're so glad you're here. Mm -hmm. And and we want to give a special shout out to our friend Jason, who recently joined us over on Patreon. Hi, Jason. Yeah, you've joined (laughs) us in this mission of helping blended family Mm -hmm. couples uh, across the continent and even across the globe. And we're very excited for you joining us. Thank you so much. Now, if you're not sure what Patreon is, uh, there's a link in the show notes. You can go check it out. Just scroll down to the the bottom and you can check that out. And, you know, maybe Patreon, you're not ready to join that community yet, but what you can do to really help is leave us a rating or a review on this podcast. If you would just tell us what you think, tell us how it's helpful um, or tell us how it's not helpful so that we can mm-hmm. learn and make it better. We would love to hear from you. So that's a great way you can help us to move forward as well. Yeah. Now we are going to jump into a very special episode and you've probably been able to tell by the title that it's all <laughs> about Mother's Day. If you're a husband or a dad and you're listening right now, don't check out Uh, because we've got some stuff specifically for you a little bit later in the episode. So these are some things you you need to listen to and learn about your your Mm -hmm. wife and uh, and figure out how to help guide your kids through this as well. We're going to talk about Mother's Day, and we're going to talk about it both from a bio mom perspective as well as a stepmom perspective. And some of you might be both, so you might have to deal (laughs) with both uh, scenarios. Anyway, we're excited to jump into this very special Mother's Day episode. Great. I love the topic of Mother's Day, but I have to (laughs) say (laughs) that as a bio mom in a step family, Mother's Day, really, it hasn't always been that wonderful, joyous occasion that I would like Mm, it to be. And I'm just being honest here, but you know, I've had to manage some kind of some unsettling emotions over the years of our blended family experience Mm -hmm. when Mother's Day rolls around. Yeah. Now, of course, I want to be gracious. I want to acknowledge the contribution of my daughter's bonus mom, her stepmom, right? She deserves respect and appreciation. And I've always encouraged my daughter, Annika, to have an attitude of gratitude towards her stepmom. Yep. But on this one particular day, on Mother's Day, I can't help but feel a little irritated and even sometimes resentful when my daughter's attention and her affections are divided. Mm -hmm. On Mother's Day, it's kind of frustrating, right? I mean, can't there be just one day out of the year where I get to just be the mom? I know this sounds really selfish, and it is selfish, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I carried that child around in my belly. I gave birth to her. (laughs) Shouldn't that override all of these complicated step-family dynamics? That's a great question, and it's a hard one to admit that many bio moms really want to ask. I feel painful even bringing this up, but I want (laughs) to keep it real, right? I mean, I've been there. I've tanked out on Mother's Day. All right. Now that I've gotten all that off my chest, (laughs) I feel better. Thank you for hanging in there. And I really hope that my venting here hasn't caused anyone to misunderstand me. I just, I want to be real. But I do want to say that over the past 19 years that we've been supporting blended families, we've met with many, many stepmoms, haven't we, hon? Yep. And I'd have to say that probably 99% of those stepmoms are absolutely amazing. they really are. Mm -hmm. And I have so much respect for them. They come into these challenging dynamics with really great intentions, and they have the kids' best interests at heart most Mm -hmm. of the time. Mm -hmm. 
They aren't trying to replace bio mom or cause the kids to feel pressure. They just truly want to bring value to the family and to feel connected to the kids, right? And these are kids that they sacrifice for and care for and love day in and day out. So in my own selfishness of wanting to have Mother's Day to be all about me, (laughs) (laughs) I do truly empathize with stepmoms. Mm -hmm. And I 100% support their need to be included and to be celebrated Mm. because they absolutely deserve it. Yeah. So uh, even though you have that selfish piece in you as a bio mom, you also recognize that, hey, there's some real great work being done by stepmoms out there. Yeah. This is complicated. It is. Special occasions stir up a lot of emotions for blended families. And Mother's Day, I think, is particularly charged. Yeah. It's emotional, right? Yeah. And there's a lot of expectations and we're going to explore that in a minute. Totally. And you know, bio moms aren't the only ones who struggle, obviously, right? Step moms really can be challenged as well. So remember uh, several years ago, there was a couple in one of the groups that we Mm -hmm. used to lead for step parents, our support group group for, for blended families. And uh, remember this couple, we we won't use their actual names. We'll just call the stepmom Lisa. She didn't have any kids of her own at that point. And and this was her first official Mother's Day as a stepmom, right? She was super (laughs) stoked. And she had really good reason to have high expectations. Mm -hmm. Like she had just recently gotten married. She has this little young stepson. Mm -hmm. And she's like, wow, like this is the first time I get to celebrate Mother's Day as a a mom, you know, as a stepmom. And so she really, she loved her son. We'll call him Lucas. And she really poured into him a lot. It was fun to watch her just yeah. discover some new she things. She was super sweet. Yeah. And so, you know, she liked to, you know, fix his favorite meals and play games that he loved and read with him at bedtime. I think he was maybe five at the time. Mm-hmm. And she surprised him with little gifts and all kinds yeah. of things. She's and super sweetheart. Yeah. Not to mention doing things for him, like, mm-hmm. you know, washing his dirty clothes and cleaning up messes around the house because five-year-olds tend to create <laughs> things like that. Right. And she was just great. So Mother's Day arrived that year and, you know, the family headed to church like they always do. And uh, Lisa's heart raced a little bit when she went to pick up Lucas in his Sunday school class because she saw that all the kids were coming out with these beautiful little Mother's Day Mm. cards, right? And so Lucas runs out and he's showing his car. He's super proud of it. And it's all exciting. You know, it's expressing love and appreciation on this special day. And then little Lucas says, I can't wait to go give this to my mommy. And you can imagine how Lisa might have felt. Yeah. You know, her heart was kind of crushed in she that was. moment. And even though she understood, she still was feeling disappointed yeah, and, and she unappreciated. Was, yeah, she un- wasn't even acknowledged. Yeah, she was excluded from the whole thing, even though she's been pouring herself into this little guy. So that's yeah. that's really understandable, mm-hmm. you know? So we want to talk about this from both the bio and the stepmom perspective because it's challenging on both mm-hmm. sides of the equation, right? So we're going to talk a little bit about some healthy mindsets and survival strategies, really, for both step and bio moms so that we can avoid some of those disappointments that often happen on Mother's yeah. Day. Sometimes we just have really high expectations. And when when expectations are dashed, it's really it's tough. So let's hop into a few of these strategies. We're so excited to let you know about something brand new we've created just for you. We've realized that with so many episodes available here on the show, it might feel a bit overwhelming to find the topics that matter most to you. That's why we've created a simple tool for you to receive a personalized playlist focused on your current struggle or your biggest challenge. That's right. It's called the Blended Family Breakthrough Quiz. You'll answer just a few questions, and based on your responses, we'll email you a curated custom playlist of episodes that are specific to you. This simple quiz will direct you to the most impactful episodes that pertain to you personally and keep you on track in your journey of discovery, learning, and growth. So, Scroll all the way to the bottom of the show notes for this episode and click the link to take the Blended Family Breakthrough Quiz today. Okay, let's get back to the discussion. 
course, this particular Mother's Day is probably going to look a little different because of all the social distancing and everything's yeah. closed. Mm -hmm. So we may not be able to do some of our regular traditions. You know, maybe we used to have a tradition of going to brunch and church. We may not be able to do some of those mm -hmm. things that we used to do to That's celebrate right. Mother's Day. And for some of you, this is going to lead to disappointment right out of the gate. But for others, it might actually make Mother's Day a little bit easier, right? <laughs> yeah, everything's closed anyway. <laughs> yeah, there won't be the usual pressure to go big on Mother's Day because everything we do these days is kind of toned down. But let's talk about how we can ease tension and disappointment this Mother's Day and also for future Mother's Days when mm. things get back to our typical, whatever that's going to look like. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's a great point too, right? Like, yes, this year, because of this mm -hmm. whole COVID-19 thing, it is going to look a little bit different in most areas of our country and our world. But the tensions that we experience are probably going to be the same at next year and the year after and, and, and all of that. Yeah. So I, yeah, I think that's really wise. Yeah. And really easing tension and avoiding that disappointment is about getting into a secure and a healthy mindset so that whatever you end up doing or however your family responds to Mother's Day, you will have the ability to handle it with grace hmm. and hopefully enjoy celebrating Mother's Day. Yeah. And we want to give you those healthy mindsets. So let's talk about the first thing. One of the things we want to do is, is check the expectations. We talked mm -hmm. about that just a moment ago. And while we're checking expectations, we can actually redirect our focus. So, so helpful. Let's, let's unpack that a little bit, what, what we mean. Um, earlier this week on our Facebook page, I know, Kim, you shared a really great article mm. from a step family expert named Laura Petherbridge. We really love Laura's writing yeah, and do. her articles. They're great. And this article is called A Mother's Day Survival Guide for Stepmoms. Okay, so we're so going to just good. focus on stepmoms <laughs> for a second. I, I'm just going to read one bullet point from the article that she calls, but why? <laughs> yeah. So here's what she says. She says, because so many stepmoms do all the work of a mom and often much of the work of a dad too, they have a very difficult time understanding why the kids don't want to at least say thank you. You know, a child's brain doesn't fully develop. This is con Laura continuing to talk. A child's brain doesn't fully develop until they're in the early 20s. When a child has experienced a trauma, such as a divorce, a death of a parent, or the breakup of the family unit, it's very common for the brain to stop growing. The brain becomes paralyzed in that stage of trauma. Therefore, this explains why so many kids in the step family homes have emotional and mental issues. And when we expect kids to rationalize, process, appreciate the very thing that has caused them trauma, it's an unrealistic expectation. It's rarely because they hate the stepmom. Hear that. It's rarely because they hate the stepmom. It's usually because they hate the situation. Uh, it's yes. not about who they like. It's about all that situation the and what's going on themselves. around them. Yeah. yeah so and so that good. can, that can sometimes be comforting for us step parents. I know we're talking to step moms, but I'm a step dad and I know I wrestle with some of the father's mm -hmm. day stuff, which is very yeah, similar. Yeah. And, and that can be hard to keep our mindset on the fact that it's really about the situation and not about me as a person. Mm -hmm. So let's try to stay focused there. You know, it's common for step moms to get caught up in the idea of being celebrated on mother's day right? We see all the Facebook posts. We see advertising for Mother's Day and there's gifts and there's flowers everywhere. All it's right over. in our face. Yeah, you can't yeah. avoid it. <laughs> and it seems like a reasonable expectation. And, and I'd say it is a, a reasonable expectation since a stepmom has a mothering role. You know, they're significant. Stepmoms hear us. You are significant and you definitely deserve to be loved yeah. and honored and recognized. The challenge is when we get focused on these expectations, it's really easy for us to lose sight of the bigger reality, which is all about the kid's perspective and their emotional capacity. Yeah. It's not always that they don't love you. It's that they don't necessarily have the right capacity to express that love in a way that you can really catch it and understand it. A lot of stepmoms, they're expecting their stepkids to respond to them from this place of emotional attachment on Mother's Day. But in most cases for them, I, I'm sorry to say it just yeah. doesn't exist. They don't feel as attached as you might like them to feel, at least not yet. Yeah. Okay. 
blending a family takes time and there's possibilities that you'll get there, but maybe they're not there yet. Yeah. So we've got to remember that bonds in step relationships just have to grow for a while. Mm-hmm. Right. And like Laura said, it's not really about you. It's about the overall situation that can be incredibly confusing and really challenging for kids. So we have to have some insight. Now, in the story here about Lisa that we sh- I shared a little bit ago, it was clear that her expectations were a little unrealistic. Yeah. And that's why she was so disappointed when little Lucas failed to acknowledge her on Mother's Day. Yeah. It's really possible from Lucas's perspective, while he and all the other kids were making cards for their moms, the idea of making his stepmom a card, a card just didn't hit his radar. Yeah. It's not that he was purposely necessarily trying to exclude her. Most likely, Lucas was just doing what seemed natural and normal for him on Mother's Day, making mom a card. Yeah. That's really common, right? So rather than building up big hopes and expectations around this one day of the year, it's better for a stepmom to redirect focus and choose to think about Other times when the stepkids have expressed appreciation and care for them, or maybe even just toward special moments that they've shared in the recent past, Mm -hmm. right? Those sweet little moments that do pop up. And I know they've, I know they pop up because I've experienced it. Yeah. And Lisa had some of those with her stepson, Lucas, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, Lisa did uh, describe to us that Lucas happens to be a really thoughtful boy. Mm -hmm. He's done some sweet things for her uh, over that time period, uh, things that really touched her heart and made her feel accepted by him. And so if she'd been really mindful to keep her focus on those things, rather than getting caught up in the idea or the hype of Mother's Day, then she may have saved herself some disappointment and had a completely different experience. Mm -hmm. That's a great strategy. Yeah. So stepmoms, if your stepchild has acknowledged you in the past, or maybe enjoyed a special experience along with you, then do what you can. Try to intentionally pull those memories to the front and center of your attention. Maybe you can post a little note if they wrote you a note before or gave you a picture or something that uh, is marks that memory, yeah. put it up on the fridge or put it on your bathroom mirror somewhere, you know, where you'll see it and you'll remember those moments. And then that that might help you lower your expectations around Mother's Day and keep your focus on those positive experiences when your stepchild has appreciated and acknowledged and cared for you. Yeah. Try not to let this one day of the year negate the positive affirmation that you've already received from your stepchildren. Choose to keep those expectations in line with, you know, the reality of where kids are at that emotional state that they might be struggling with. And then just focus on those special times when you've experienced connection with them. Yeah. I've got a little drawer in our bedroom that has all kinds of things, you know, <laughs> cards and, and I was looking for something the other day, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago and I was digging through it and I, I was struck by how many little silly kind of stupid things that nobody <laughs> cares about in the world except for me. Because it was something that Annika made or a little note she wrote when she was younger. I was really moved by how many of those things were in this simple yeah, little drawer full of stuff. Yeah, you used and, to carry around that rock. Oh, that yeah, she gave yeah. You I in remember she was so little. She was so proud of that little rock she found for me. And I, I did. I carried it around in my pocket reminding me that, you know what, she is connected to me. She does express care and love to mm-hmm. me. And so those can be really powerful and, and actually overpower the disappointment piece of, of yeah. what we hear. If so, you choose to focus on that and right. acknowledge it, it's that's a choice. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I, I just want to throw one more thing out there for step moms, especially practice some self-care yes. through this season. If you experience some disappointment, it's okay to admit that you're disappointed uh, and at the same time, it's okay for you to have some self-care. Maybe you're a bubble bath person and you just need to get away and mm-hmm. go have a bubble bath. Or maybe you got a really special one of your girlfriends that mm-hmm. you love to hang out with for coffee that or, or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> something um, where you maybe need to get that expression of appreciation filled yeah, somewhere treat else. Yourself. Go for it. Go ahead. So I just encourage you to to make sure you take care of yourself as yeah. well. Do something good for yourself and don't feel guilty about it. Yes, you deserve it. Totally. <laughs> Now, bio moms also need to be mindful uh, around Mother's Day. This can be tough. And if you want to respond in a way that benefits everyone on Mother's Day, which, you know, you're a mom, so you're used to making lots of sacrifices and you always want the best outcome for your kids. So this really isn't 
much of a stretch for you. <laughs> I guess that does happen regularly. Yep. Yep. Then in this delicate situation around Mother's Day, you need to be willing to extend empathy and grace. First to your kids and the awkward position they might be navigating, and also to your kid's stepmom and the expectations around the other home. That's challenging. It is. Mm. Now, if you're anything like me, your ideal Mother's Day would revolve around you. <laughs> right? I'm just going to throw it out there. It seems pretty simple to me. I'm the mom. It's Mother's Day, so it's all about me. <laughs> But when your kids are living between two homes with separate parental connections, it's just not that simple. I'm sorry. And it's especially complicated for your kids. They might feel like they're in a bit of a tug of war here. If there are high expectations around Mother's Day coming from you and coming from their stepmom. And this is the last thing that our kids need is added stress. Mm. So we need to be careful in the messages we send to the kids and how we respond to our own disappointments. Yeah, we've experienced that plenty of times over yeah, the years, haven't we? Yeah. yeah, that was definitely our situation. My ex and his wife expected my daughter Annika to acknowledge and celebrate her stepmom, just mm -hmm. as their biological kids in their home were doing. And of course, there's nothing wrong with this. And also, I had no control over their <laughs> expectations, right? right? Yeah. It's out of my hands. So Annika, of course, did spend most of Mother's Day in our home. So I had to be really careful with my attitude towards her stepmom on Mother's Day. And I already shared that I didn't always have the best attitude <laughs> because I felt a little irritated and resentful about mm -hmm. the other home sometimes. Yeah. And I didn't want to put Annika into a loyalty bind or make her feel like she was doing something wrong by acknowledging her stepmom, because there isn't anything wrong with that. And it's actually a good sign when kids accept a step parent and genuinely want to acknowledge and celebrate them. Yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. So bio moms, you might need to set your own expectations and emotions aside and just do the right thing for your kids in these kinds of situations. And I know this isn't easy, but what's best for kids is to allow them to naturally develop that caring relationship with their stepmom. So adding to a child's loyalty bind or kind of pulling on their emotions or venting to them, it can be confusing for them. So just be careful and keep yourself in check. Mm-hmm. Don't make your kids feel guilty if they choose to acknowledge their stepmom on Mother's Day. And if you want to learn more about this um, term I use, loyalty binds, please go back and check out episode number 29. It's completely devoted to loyalty yeah, binds. That's right. Mm -hmm. Such an important topic. And we're going to link that for you in the show notes. I think it's important to acknowledge one thing. There are times... Not all the time. In fact, like Kim said, 99% of the stepmoms we've met really are trying their hardest mm -hmm. to be good to the kids. But there are times when our kids have unhealthy stepmoms who yeah. are really struggling in lots of different areas of life. And that can be really hard. The real point is we're, we're lifting the pressure. Mm -hmm. and, and from your perspective as a bio mom, you're going to allow that child to approach or not approach stepmom. Now their dad in the other home might approach things differently and you can't control dad, mm -hmm. but you can control you. And so putting pressure to do something is not wise, but also putting pressure not to do something is not wise. Yeah. And so we want to free, if you're sitting there going, wow, man, wait a second. Stepmom in the other home is really unhealthy and she's actually not that great to my child. Yeah then don't get us wrong. You're, yeah. you're struggling with a different challenge and we want you to, to still be able to honor that child and loose them from the loyalty binds, but not go out yeah. of your way to try and get them to, you know, quote unquote, honor yeah. stuff. Let the child set the pace. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to acknowledge that. Yeah. Good point. Now, by all moms, if you do have some tough negative emotions and some disappointments you need to vent, that's okay. It's healthy mm -hmm. for you to talk about it. Do this, though, with your spouse or with a trusted friend, not in front of the kids. That's right. These dynamics are not the kids' fault. And a lot of times they get caught in the middle of all these adult expectations on special <laughs> occasions. Yep. So be sure that you're protecting your kids 
first and foremost. Mm -hmm. So to ease my own discomfort of having to share Mother's Day with my daughter's stepmom, I decided that I would redirect my focus to another day. A day where I knew that I'd get everyone's full attention. <laughs> <laughs> so I de-escalated Mother's Day and I chose my birthday, which happens to be only a few weeks before Mother's Day. So that's the day that I could focus on. And of course, it's all about me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know it sounds So you've selfish. got to know that Kim is not <laughs> selfish, even though in, ep in this episode, she's kind of coming across that way. <laughs> Well, you know, Mother's Day is hard. It's it a blessing, is. but it it's is. hard. So I think mothers, I think I need to be honored at least one day out of the I, year. I agree. All moms need to have a day that's all about them. I try to honor <laughs> you every day of the I year. I know. You do a great job. <laughs> now, even if your birthday is nowhere near May, you can still redirect your focus. You can choose any other day that you're guaranteed to have with your kids without distraction and you can plan a fun-filled adventure mm -hmm. and just en yeah. enjoy some family time together. So what you're saying is the the strategy that we shared for stepmoms mm -hmm. is the same for bio moms. Yeah, take right? the pressure off Mother's yeah. Day yep. and don't make it the emotional roller coaster. You don't have to go down that road. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do try the strategy of redirection, keep your motives on the down low. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Tell, tell us about that. What do you mean? Well, you may not want to stir up tension or confusion by announcing to the kids that you felt gypped on Mother's <laughs> Day. <laughs> so now the family's going to be celebrating you on a different day. <laughs> Just keep it casual and natural. Yeah. It can be your fun little secret. You know, I'm sure my kids aren't even remotely aware that I've redirected Mother's I, Day to my birthday in I my own think, emotional yeah. mindset. Well, I don't think so either. And even just talking about preparing for this episode, I don't think I've ever yeah, even realized yeah. in 19 years that you've done that. Yeah, and it's great because then if Mother's Day is awesome, I get a bonus day. There you go. And if it's a flop and I feel gypped because my daughter had to spend time at the other home no well oh well i've yeah. you know i already got to celebrate with my kids and i had a great day so i nice. can redirect and think about that i put a big picture of that on the fridge mm. so that i don't get stuck in disappointment nice. so yeah it's the same strategy for step moms as for bio moms great now it's also ideal bio moms if you can learn to have empathy for your kids as stepmom and gracefully release the kids and allow them to honor and celebrate her mm -hmm. on Mother's Day if, if that's something that they would like to do. Yep. You know, try to put yourself in stepmom's shoes. Try to imagine how Lisa from our story, how she felt when her stepson excluded her after everything she does to care for him and love on him. And then she's left out. I mean, that mm -hmm. just breaks my heart. Really try to put yourself in their shoes and have some empathy. And avoid turning your kids' loyalties and special occasions like Mother's Day into a competition. That's the last place we need to go. Mm. And I know sometimes it feels like stepmom might be taking over your domain mm. or might feel like she's trying to get all the accolades that should be reserved for you. Just the idea of another woman mothering your kids can feel invasive. Yeah, it's hard. That's right. But the truth is... That when you can't be there, when your kids are visiting dad, stepmom is there to fill in the gap. Mm -hmm. Many well-meaning stepmoms are capable of nurturing, supporting, and caring for their stepkids, and their motives are most likely good and honorable towards your kids. That's right. So try to give her a break, extend a little empathy, and approach this complicated holiday <laughs> with some grace and understanding, not as a competition mm -hmm. between the two homes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. And so simple. Yeah. Right? Not easy. Not easy, but <laughs> simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, dads and husbands, we promised you some thoughts as well. And so let's dive into some of mm -hmm. that. So if I go back to our story here with Lisa and little Lucas, you know, when we met them and we heard this story, I remember also her husband just really hurting for her. Yeah. He was definitely disappointed with Lucas's lack of acknowledgement toward Lisa and was really at a lot. He didn't, he didn't know what to do yeah. to try to help out. He, he was wise enough. He didn't necessarily want to put pressure on Lucas. Mm -hmm. At the same time, he really wanted Lisa to feel loved and accepted by him yeah. and by his son. And so it was really challenging. And maybe some of you husbands can relate yeah, to that. Yeah, you want to show up well for your wife, 
and mm-hmm. also your kids. Yeah. So here's something that you can do. Remember to look ahead to special occasions. And, and don't forget about birthdays, obviously. Kim just shared how important mm-hmm. that is, right? Yeah, prepare. But, but look ahead for that and prepare for them. You know, us guys sometimes are really known for waiting for the last minute and <laughs> responding. And we're buying, you know, Mother's Day gifts from 7-Eleven the night before because <laughs> we aren't looking ahead. You've never done that, ahead. have you? <laughs> uh, well, maybe not 7-Eleven. But, you know, your intentional efforts might really help your wife and really help you uh, to love her well. So here's some ways that you might approach Mother's Day or other things with some sensitivity and awareness. First, just initiate a conversation with your wife, Mm -hmm. right? If Lisa's husband had had just initiated a conversation prior to Mother's Day, maybe they would have had an opportunity to explore some of the possibilities and even openly express some of the emotions and the expectations Mm -hmm. that actually existed. You can talk about, you know, the possibility of this whole loyalty bind thing. Yeah. You might go listen to that episode. Uh, I think it was 29 mm-hmm. and try to figure some of that out. Um, it could be a good way to help your wife to understand the tensions that the kids might be struggling with. And those types of things, when we talk about that, it can ease some of our stress and it can help us as a couple to get our expectations in line. Mm-hmm. And, and especially for stepmoms, that helps them not be blindsided with disappointment yeah. on Mother's Day, right? So Definitely. the other thing you can do is just ask her, what do you want to do for Mother's Day? Mm-hmm. Like, I know we're trying to get our expectations in line, but let's just explore what is a realistic thing that you might like for Mother's mm-hmm. Day. And then as a husband, do your best to try and deliver on that. Remember that she's committed to you and being your partner and raising the kids. And this is a great way to just express your own gratitude for Mm -hmm. her, right? Because Mother's Day isn't just about kids expressing gratitude. It's also about husbands expressing gratitude. Absolutely. Yeah. So the other thing you can do, so that's a a discussion you can have with your wife and try Mm -hmm. to figure, you know, work, work through that. Ahead of time. Ahead of time. That's right. (laughs) Not the night before or the morning of. (laughs) Like right after you listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the other thing you can do is just initiate a simple conversation with the kids. You, you want to talk openly about this upcoming special day. And casually, you can ask the kids, you know, how do they feel about doing something for their stepmom on Mother's Day? You don't want to put pressure on them. You don't even need to get an answer. You know, if they seem really uncomfortable, it's okay to say, hey, it's all right. You know, um, They may not know how they feel about celebrating stepmom on Mother's Day, but you can help them process through the emotions or just allow them some time to think Mm -hmm. about it. But it might be great to initiate a conversation. A good way to do this is to ask an open-ended question. So I don't recommend that you ask if they want to celebrate stepmom, but instead use words like what and might. These are really good words to just open kids' brains up. The word might keeps them from having to feel like they have pressure that they have to make a decision yeah. might suggest, well, maybe we'll do that. Mm-hmm. They're not making a major commitment. Yeah. So maybe something like this, Hey, what might be something we could do for Lisa on mother's day? Mm-hmm. <laughs> really simple, yeah. right? And casual. And maybe they'll come up with an idea. Who knows? If kids are younger, they might be really open to the idea. In fact, the younger the kids are often, not always, but often Mm -hmm. they'll be a little bit more open. You can just simply ask if they want to share any positive thoughts or memories or feelings about that they have about their stepmom. And and then you can help them capture that in a card or something. Yeah. Lucas could have said some really sweet things about, about Lisa, you know, how she reads stories to him or makes some yummy snacks after school. Yeah, totally. Yeah. It doesn't have to be big. Um, elaborate sediments. Mm. It can just be simple things and that can really impact a stepmom. That's a great mm-hmm. point. Be Just be careful not to put words into their mouths. Make sure mm-hmm. you're really drawing out of them how they feel. What you want to do is just keep it sweet and simple. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, some kids maybe who are older or uh, you're not sure about how they feel about celebrating stepmom, you might just invite them to join you in mm-hmm. what you're doing. So sure. if you're going to go buy a gift or something like that, you may invite them into that process. Our expert that we referenced earlier, Laura Prethebridge, she's got a great script for this. We really like this. So here's what she says. Hey kids, I'm going to the mall to buy Lisa a Mother's Day gift for being such a great stepmom to you kids. Do you want to come with me? If you want to get her something, I'll help. Now, I know you've got a mom and that you want to honor that day for her. And it's hard to live in these two homes. I get it. 
And if it makes you uncomfortable, I totally understand. I just wanted to ask because I'm going to go and get her a gift. So yeah. you're not changing what you're doing. You're just inviting mm -hmm. them into the process. No pressure. Mm -hmm. That's really yeah. low pressure. Now, a word on caution around all of this. Dads really need to let their kids set the pace and not use guilt or any kind of manipulation to push a Mother's Day agenda. No. Forcing kids to buy gifts or acknowledge dad's wife, mm -hmm. if that's how they're feeling yeah. about it, that could really backfire and it could lead to resentment, not only between the child and the stepmom, but between you mm -hmm. and your child as yeah. well. So if your child is willing to express gratitude towards stepmom, you can encourage them. But if not, we encourage you to be really patient and wait for their connection to develop and do what you can to encourage that healthy bonding. Now, if you're looking for an easy way to elevate your wife and grow that connection between her and the kids, go back and check out episode number nine. It's called A Surprisingly Simple Strategy for Bonding with Stepkids. And that can be really effective uh, and it, it can help you and your wife work together to really be engaged in the bonding process. Yeah, with yeah the kids. You, you can be a big support there. Yeah. Now, here's another big one for husbands. Yes. Choose to celebrate your wife. I alluded to this a little bit earlier. If your kids are just unable to express affection or appreciation this year on Mother's Day, you still can. Yes, right? definitely. Let your wife know how much you cherish her. Express your gratitude for all the things that she does to support your family and care for your kids. And by the way, she needs to hear this regularly too, okay? this is, I'm not yes. saying just do this on Mother's Day and you're <laughs> no. good for the next 364 days. That's not what we're saying at all. Often she needs to hear it, Absolutely. I would say. Yeah. Now, here's another idea, husbands. You may not be aware that the Sunday right after Mother's mm -hmm. Day, so this year it's May 17th, is Stepmother's Day. Yay! You could totally surprise her with, hey, guess what? It's Stepmother's Day and that day can be just for her. And you can do that with or without the kids' sure. involvement. Yeah. And sometimes it's okay to do things without the kids. I remember one year, Kim wanted mm -hmm. to just take off for a date night and go to a movie. I and wanted I wanted a break from the kids yeah, on Mother's she, Day. She was like, what I really want for Mother's Day this year is to not have to worry about being a mom. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's different. So it's okay to do that. But celebrate your wife. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. And that's a national holiday. Yeah, Google it. That's it's right. there. Step, step Mother's step Day. Step up. Yep. So whether step up, step up. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a bad pun. <laughs> so whether you're a bio mom or a step mom or both mother's day can be complicated and tough, right? We know that firsthand, what should be a lovely day celebrating the women that have devoted themselves to raising kids. Well, it often becomes a day of unmet expectations and painful emotions. Mm -hmm. It can be a real bummer. But we think you deserve better, much better, yeah. don't we, honey? Mm -hmm. So our challenge to you around Mother's Day this year, which is only a few days away from the release of this episode, so get on it, our challenge, <laughs> <laughs> our challenge get on it. <laughs> is to get your mindset in the right place now. Mm -hmm. Check in on your expectations and take some time to really evaluate if they need to be adjusted. And don't forget to consider the kids and what they could be experiencing emotionally leading mm -hmm. up to Mother's Day. Then intentionally choose to redirect your thoughts and focus on other positive experiences that you've already had or that you can easily create in the future with your kids. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught up in the pressure and the idea of this perfect Mother's Day. Okay, just avoid all of that. Now, bio moms, remember to foster that attitude of empathy and grace, not just for your kids, but for their stepmom. And don't turn Mother's Day into a competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Get out of the competition mindset. And stepmoms, you might even try just inviting your husband to listen to this podcast episode and ask for his input and support around Mother's sure. Day. Be honest with how you're feeling and just let him know what he can do to help ease the tension for you. I got to admit, as a husband, sometimes I just don't even know what yeah, to do. Yeah. And I need Kim to say, here's what I need. Um, yeah, men aren't mind readers and neither are women. Neither. I was just going <laughs> to say, I was like, whoa, whoa. I know. <laughs> <laughs> of course, just a little empathy and grace toward your stepkids bio mom is also going to improve your situation. And it's going to speak volumes to your stepkids about your good intentions yes. toward them and for them. 
We are so excited for moms and stepmoms yep. to get to celebrate Mother's Day in just five days from the point this uh, episode releases. We hope you have a wonderful, yes. wonderful Mother's Happy Day. Happy Mother's Day. Regardless of whether we've got social distancing going on and COVID-19 yeah. rules and regulations and all of that, don't let any of that rob you uh, of just celebrating and enjoying your special day. Now, don't forget to join us next week where we're going to be talking about that constant conflict that can exist for blended families. So we hope you'll make it there. Again, have a very happy Mother's Day. Yes. And that makes this episode a wrap. Until next time. Until next time.